As an arena shooter, Armajet has a rich heritage to draw ideas from. The genre was defined by classic games like Quake 3 Arena and Unreal Tournament, and our very own Goretti took first place at WSG 2003 for Unreal Tournament 2003. It's no surprise then that various different ideas and concepts from these seminal titles would creep their way into the game. Ahoy there, Captain Benzie here, coming at you with another Pilot Training Academy. Today we're going to be looking at mutators, what they are, and how they affect your gameplay. Before we jump in, if you find this video useful, or at least a little bit entertaining, please consider hitting like on it, and subscribing to this channel for all things Armorjet. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future, either by commenting down below, or by coming and finding me on the social media channels shown along the bottom of your screen now. Finally, make sure that you're part of the Armorjet community by joining both the official Discord server and subreddit. Details, again, are on screen now. Alright, let's get going. What are mutators? Mutators in computer science are methods used to control changes to a variable, and in biology, a mutator is a gene that causes a change in the genome or DNA. But we don't give a rat's ass about such boring academic nonsense, and the only biology we care about is how much blood a direct hit from a Velocitus sprays over the moon base, and arguably, that's more mathematics. In Unreal Tournament, a mutator was a way to change up the game, either by changing rules or adding new variables to the arena, like Fatboy, where players became larger and thus easier targets the more kills they accrued. Others, like the infamous Instagib mutator, removed all weapons and most power-ups in the game, except for a super shock rifle that killed instantly in a single hit, upping the ante and removing the need for shield or health pickups. This is exactly what Armorjet is going for with the addition of mutators. Now, in order to use mutators in Armorjet, they must first be unlocked. Most mutators are found on the Valor Road, so you can scroll along this to see when you'll be able to access them. Once you have a mutator unlocked, you can use it in custom matches by scrolling to the bottom of the variables and choosing which mutator you want to use. Of course, though, it'd be a little bit underwhelming if mutators were only available in custom matches, but don't worry your teensy little head. There is also a small chance of a mutator appearing as a vote option in a lobby too. Now, these are always variations of an existing mode and map combination, so you could get a Fuel Frenzy Instagib on Moon, or a High Octane Battle Ball on Temple. A mutator will only appear if everyone in that lobby has a particular mutator available. If you're the only one with High Octane unlocked, for example, it won't appear, but if everyone has Instagib unlocked, that one could. Alright, so enough of the boring theory and talking. I'm well aware that this video is already lacking in explosions to the point that the average Thunderstorm user has probably already wandered off chasing a butterfly or they're trying to lick the toaster. So let's look at the individual mutators and what they actually do. The famous OG mutator. Instagib locks all loadouts to the Velocitus, EMP grenade, and super speed. It doesn't matter what loadout you actually had equipped, and it doesn't give a damn if you're one of those poor saps that hasn't unlocked the Velocitus yet. You'll still get to play with everyone's favourite whoosh ping railgun in this mode. On top of this, as you'd expect from the mutator's history, any hit from the Velocitus kills instantly, regardless of shields or health. This makes for one heck of a messy match, as a well-placed shot from the Velocitus can now single-handedly turn the entire team into a cloud of blood and bone. It is recommended that you don't listen to Mummy, and you turn the gore setting right the way back on for this one. Have you ever been playing a match of armor jet and run out of fuel mid-jump like an absolute scrub? Have you ever wanted to find out what's at the very top of district? Or have you ever wanted to try and carry the battle ball the long way around the bottom of temple? Well, have I got exciting news for you! That's exactly what Fueled lets you do. With this mutator, your jetpack has an endless supply of fuel, so you can fly around the arena blaring out Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries as you turn the enemy team into paste. Seriously, try it. It's strangely cathartic. I'm going to anyways, but if you needed fast ultimates explained, you should probably put your phone down, stop playing armor jet, and go back to preschool. The fast ultimates mutator, surprise, surprise, makes your ultimates charge significantly faster. If you've ever wondered what it would feel like to fly through a hailstorm made of drones whilst it rains airstrikes, you're going to love this mode. For the rest of us, it's insanity in a bottle, and that kill count is going to rock it up faster than the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in a frat house after spring break. 
Have you ever thought that Armorjet would be so much better if the invisibility power-up never ran out and was always on? Have you ever felt like you'd do so much better in the arena if only people didn't see you coming? Well, yes, the camouflaged mutator is a frontliner's dream come true, and every pilot is permanently under the invisibility power-up's effects. You can just about see them if you look hard enough, so good luck trying to snipe people from across the map. To me, camouflaged is kind of like trying to run through a house of mirrors, and often spray and pray is surprisingly effective on this one. Now we're talking. The high octane mutator takes armor jet and dials it up to 11. You move faster, you shoot faster, you reload faster. If you've ever wondered if a game of battle ball can end in under 30 seconds, then the answer is yes. If you've watched a kill reel on YouTube, got bored and put it on two times speed, well, this is the same thing, but live action. Try a weapon like the Typhoon or Lycan with Trigger Happy and prepare to dial the emergency services to repair the split in your sides from laughing so damn hard. High Octane is the hyperactive, wide-eyed, foaming-at-the-mouth rabbit puppy of Armor Jet's mutators. Prepare to fall head over heels in love while also being ever so slightly terrified. Sounds just like my marriage. Wouldn't Armor Jet be so much more fun if players would just stop running away and healing? Wouldn't life be so much better if those pesky health pickups just went away? Wouldn't you love to don a cloak, slap in some fake fangs, and swoop through the skies like the vampire Lestrat with a machine gun? Transfusion does all of this, well, except the fake fangs and cloak thing. Passive healing is disabled, and the health pickups are curiously absent. Instead, pilots heal every time they score a kill, which drives players to be remarkably aggressive. Think about it, you're used to swooping in with the Thunderstorm or Dominion and coming out with barely any health left. Now, as long as you kill your prey, your health is topped up. This makes it surprisingly easy to frag entire crowds to dust in moments, and to come out looking surprisingly healthy. Beyond these mutators, there are also four loadout mutators that can only appear in the lobby. These ones don't have to be unlocked on the Valor Road, and they can't be selected in custom matches. Each of these mutators locks all three of your loadouts to a specific themed variation, kind of like how Instagram does. Again, you don't need to have the weapons in the loadout unlocked, so this is a great way to try out weapons you may otherwise be unable to use yet. Explosive Loadouts equips all players with the Havoc Rocket Launcher, the Frag Grenade, and the Self Heal Ultimate. Splash damage, splash damage, everywhere. You don't even really need to aim anymore. Toasty Loadouts is a pyromaniac's dream, and it slaps a wildfire in one hand and an incendiary grenade in the other, with the Napalm Airstrike as your ultimate. Toasty Loadout matches quickly devolve into a full-on game of The Floor is Lava. Good luck. Medieval Loadouts takes you back to simpler times, giving you only a knife, a crossbow, and a shield. Well, okay, the crossbow is the Nightfall, and it is a super shield. Maybe you'll be lucky and get six kills within three seconds of each other? Finally, Rambo Loadouts allows you to channel your inner Stallone by giving you the Iron Bark, the Marauder, and the Trigger Happy Ultimate so that you can spray and pray the arena whilst screaming at the top of your lungs. Well, there we have it. Hopefully you've managed to cram some new knowledge into that mushy little grey sponge that you call a brain, and I'm sure you're all chomping at the bit to dive face first in the arena to try these out. Awesome! That's what I like to see. Fresh blood bags full of frag sauce. What are your favourite mutators though, and why? Do you have any tips for some of the mutators that you feel I missed out? Perhaps you have an idea for a really cool mutator that you'd love to see added to the game. Let me know in the comments section below. Happy sailing, and see you in the arena!